What's going on, y'all? This is your Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 8, Episode 14. Peaches of the Caribbean Review. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So, we starting off with the bullshit from last week with this friend thing. Is Cynthia and Kenya really friends? And are we friends for best friends or just fake friends and phony friends for the Real Housewives of Atlanta or, or the show or whatever? So, Cynthia dropped her ass on the bus. Titties all out and all. Ain't you too old to be having your titties out, young lady? Or you got your titties out, poked out. You already got the men with your titties through and went poked out, Cynthia. But anyway, though, they ain't, they ain't nothing wrong looking at them. They do look nice. Go ahead. You paid for them. So do you. Anyway, though, we get there. And Cynthia Younger, this really awesome, cool friend, decides to go tell um Kenya. That I said we weren't best friends. Then Sheree said, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't say it like that. I said it like this. And so now they said they're arguing about is me and Kenya best friends. Are we fake friends? Are we just buddies just to be buddies? Because Nene dumped my ass, so now I need a new friend. And so they snuck the talking about that, getting in discussion about this. Which, well, Cynthia... Yeah, it's kind of lying. You did. Like, um, Kenya was your new best friend after Nene dumped your ass. You all acting like you was all up in your friends and you needed a friend. Since Nene did, since you and Nene had broke up. So that girl, crazy ass girl, mama, Kenya, crazy ass Kenya might have thought your ass was her best friend. <laughs> hell, she ain't got too many of those anyway. The hell, she might have considered you a friend, whatever. And then we get to Kenya. Go see Peter. Family got to the date with Spot. I killed the Spot with Jack with that boy. Girl, can you cut it out? We know that man is just an extra in your role, on, on your list of roles to try to make you seem like you were important, but you're really not. Knock it off, Kenya. We see through the bullshit. So Kenya got her silly ass in the spot with this man discussing female feelings when you should be talking to this man trying to get this more get know this man a little bit more better. You decide to sit your goofy up the ass up there. And even though he did open the door about this whole situation about this friend bullshit, you would have said, you know what? I don't want to talk about this. I want to enjoy your company and you know get to know you better. So now you sit up here discussing this whole Female feelings bullshit with this damn man and this love, fake and phony friendship you and Cynthia may or may not have. Besides enjoying this man company, talking, getting to know him, have a little fun in the spa, get closer to him or whatnot. You want to see him have a full blown conversation with him about female problems? Yeah, he gonna be around forever, Kenya. Talking like that, yep, he gonna be around forever. And then we get to Cynthia. She's on the boat. So, I mean, on the bus still talking about this bullshit again. And now she's sitting up there crying all over Nene and Kenya and this friend, let's be friends, let's not be friends feeling shit. Okay, Cynthia, you that damn pressed about this bullshit. Why don't you do something about it? Go talk to the old work. You did try to talk to the silly bitch. She didn't want to hear. Never mind. It was just a suggestion, but I see you crying. You in your damn feelings or whatever. Oh, God. Can you must you be annoying everywhere you go? Now, Nene did a nice thing to come get your ass. Hell, you're lucky somebody invited your ass to this to the get a night cap. And here you go up here giving Nene a hard time when she tried to do a nice thing. And here you go to my son. Why you want me to go down there and be the night cap for when you start the whole thing? How did Nene start the whole thing? Hey, my fault you insecure with your friendship with Cynthia. How's that her problem? No, honey, that's your problem. You the one insecure and cause somebody to come back. You all threatening and worried about your fake relationship with Cynthia. I'm going to call it that fake relationship. So now you want to blame Nene for this whole huh, Cynthia, well, you and Cynthia not being best friends again. Okay, okay girl. Okay, freeze the head. 
so oh yeah, and I forgot her feelings I heard. So we all supposed to give a damn about her hurt feelings because her and Cynthia Baylor ain't friends anymore. Or shall I say best friends. So y'all find y'all concerned for her hurt feelings because Nene back in this threatening her relationship. Her, her best friend relationship with Cynthia. So y'all find some fucks for that relationship. So after tucking that Kenya frizzy weave on her head and a few nudges, she finally decides to come down with a bullshit, um, bullshit confession in the confessional. Tell me, I really do care for Cynthia and I bear our friendship, so I decide to come down and talk to her. Yeah, bitch, no, them producer told you to take your dumb ass downstairs. You didn't want to go downstairs. After what you went to the, set up there arguing in that room, you didn't want you didn't want to go down there here for. No, the producer told your ass to get down there. You're not gonna get paid. That's what you talk. What they told your ass. So Nene missed ass <laughs> after that blah 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 and the bullshit about Cynthia and Kenya whatever friendship whatever we gonna call it. Nene decided to ask this dummy. So, are you coming to the Mercer tomorrow? And she, well, I guess I can come. Bitch, knowing damn well you want to go to that Mercer, because you still mad, because she chose Kim over your dumb ass. Whatever. I guess we're going to see Kenya be missing now. She ain't been missing this whole episode, so I guess the real Kenya feel to come exposed now. Ooh, so um, can your new PayPal boyfriend, can your new PayPal PayPal boyfriend and Peter start to get into it? I guess he said a few words and Peter trying to vent him on and see what he about, see if he about this life or not about this life, and so they fit to get into it. I'm assuming or not fit to like each other. Let's see how this ends. Ooh, so old PayPal talking about taking a walk, taking a wall. And Peter trying to calm him down. Old PayPal ready to fight old bald head old man Thomas. Okay, Peter, you better sit your ass down somewhere. Um, uh, I don't know much about this old PayPal man, but y'all playing around the fuck around with him and he dead ass. Okay, since they don't let them find you up there somewhere in the palm tree where he didn't threw your little old ass up there in the tree. You better leave that man alone, Peter. I'm pretty sure Greg ain't gonna help you. Need this, um, Sheree old cross out of ass boyfriend with his eyes going north and west. Uh, east and west. Let me stop being messy. But I'm sure he ain't gonna have to put them eyes going e going east and west. Cause them eyes gone. I almost think he can see screen. <laughs> oh, okay. So after we wind it back and listening, so Peter came hard asking this man question. I guess he kind of care for King and they want to fill this nigga out or whatever have you. So. Peter started asking him questions, how old he is, what he do, he look like a football player and all this. So, I guess he took offense to that, I'm going to have to keep on watching and see. But anyway though, find out PayPal 28 years old and what can he is, 45, 46, 47, I know the bitch in her 40s. So, what is this, her play tour? Like, um, like Portia was doing, had a play tour with dudes. So, Kenya got her a play tour, a PayPal play tour now. Okay, let me go ahead and look at this, see what's the fuck up. Let me see what, what made this, let, let this talk go south. Oh, okay, now it's making sense. I ain't think nothing gonna come from that whole talk with Peter now. That's why I fast forwarded. So, that's why it's probably not confusing. Now that I fast forward, I had to rewind it back or I cut that last little bit of end of it. But, anywho, don't. Peter was talking to him, I guess the question he was asking Peter, uh, Peter was asking him, and Peter said he seemed like he's kind of standoffish, he don't want to answer my question, they said, do you want to answer the question? He said, no, 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 not at all. Okay, then, that man want to ask you no question, but Peter, you asking that man a half a million questions like you want to date him. Um, and I feel kind of threatened to you know, by all these damn questions you asking me. So... 
I guess Peter got in his feelings that his balls got big because he was in Jamaica or whatnot and decided he wasn't to try this 28-year-old man. And what you about, 51, Peter? 51, 52? And you sit up here trying this 28-year-old man because you in Okay, now, look. I, look, Peter, you in your hometown and all that? Just because you dead don't mean you can't get no ass whooping too. You better leave that little young boy alone. And your confession of shooting that boy a bird. Mm-hmm. Peter, don't let me hear about you ain't got your ass whooped. God, he 29 years old and he ready to fight. So keep it on up, Peter. And don't think that boy won't beat your ass because you in Jamaica. Why you still talking all bad and big in front of Peter? I mean, in front of Greg, them. Okay, that ass whooping going to look so much sweeter. Coming up, be getting your ass whooped. Okay, so the girls are talking. They chit-chatting, kicking, laughing. All of a sudden, then he said, wake him, man. So, blah, 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 keep on talking, keep on talking. Then all of a sudden, her husband came up in this conversation. And so, with her name, cause his name and her, with Kim name and her boyfriend name coming up, all of a sudden, not the goddamn bloom. Here go Kenya mess her ass. Any chance she get the stab, um, the stab Kim in that back of pick at Kim or uh, poke at Kim, she gets it. Talking about the industry called her boy, her husband, Chrissy, and that uh, he act a little feminine and they say he gay this and all that and the other one. Um, Kenya, grow all the way the fuck up. Don't stop at mature. You ain't mature enough. Grow all the way the fuck up, bitch. Because I'm pretty sure why you doing this, talking about that woman's husband and what they say about him and calling him Chrissy. Honey, how many rental boyfriends you done had? At least she do got a husband. And at least she do got a husband and kids. Where your child at, honey? You got to go to the sperm bank to get yours. So, Kenya, while you sitting there talking about that woman and her mom, husband like that, bitch, we can all say a lot about you, but we chose not to. So, while you sitting there taking you funny, I ain't sitting there funny talking about that woman and her husband, it would have been funny if Kenya would have came behind you and dragged your ass out that goddamn chair by your nappy roots. And beat you down. Cause Kenya, you do too goddamn much. One of these days, you gonna fuck with the wrong goddamn person. One of these days, I feel it coming. That was your warning what Portia did to your ass at that reunion when she dragged you by your head and tried to drag you on that across that stage. That was your goddamn warning. We see you ain't heaved that goddamn warning too motherfucking good, Kenya. Cause see, one of these days, little girl. And you should know better. You too goddamn old to be doing this little shit. Hell, we expect Portia to be doing some bullshit like this. Not you. But what again can we say? You is Carlo King's puppet. So, I'm not surprised. And I'm pretty sure they giving you all these little notes that you can do to try to make yourself cause some trouble. But Kenya, I, I'm going to pray for you, honey. How one of these days you going to fuck with the wrong person one of these damn days. They gonna forget that they gonna forget that they can get in trouble and they gonna beat your ass down, King. And, and, and nothing you want to blame but yourself. Cause just like you did that with um, Portia. You didn't think Portia was gonna do what she did to your ass at the reunion, but look what you made her do. One of these days, you gonna get somebody and they gonna beat your ass down. And it ain't gonna be no drag cost, no damn stake, or no hair tugging. There no hair tugging. It's going to be beat down in your dry ass face. Now, you keep on fucking with people, can you? Because you literally ask for an ass whooping every time you open your goddamn mouth. You do not have to, you did not have to do none of that. You ain't even have to bring up that man husband for crying out loud like that. You could, I, I understand, yeah, you throwing jabs at Kim because you don't like her at the moment. I see Kim. Talk about Kim. But that's the wrong motherfucking thing you can do it. Ever talk about somebody, a husband, wife, kids, family members, or whatever. Honey, that is a beat down waiting for you to happen. And you going to get it, sister girl. I just hope they don't fuck you up too goddamn bad that we can't unrecognize your, that we can't recognize your ass and say, oh, is that Kenya? Oh, okay, yeah, that's Kenya. We see you. That's Kenya. You better hope they don't kill you, girl. Because you didn't cross the line. I talk about that woman husband like that. That is fucked up in more ways than one, King. You need to grow the hell up for your ass get rocked one of these damn days. 
for once in my goddamn motherfucking life, for once or ever, I absolutely agree with you, Cynthia. That line has been crossed, and you might not recognize your friend Kenya, because somebody going to get that hoe sooner or later, because she have... Cynthia, I never actually agreed with you ever on this motherfucking show, but that line had been crossed, and Cynthia, if I was you... I would have walked up and left as soon as she sent it down talking about a full-blown conversation about this woman, um, woman husband like that. I would have just got up and left and say, I'm not being involved in this bullshit. I don't want to be brought up in. I want my name to say nothing. Because what they going to look like you sitting up there, huh? Sitting up, sitting up there listening to all this. You not trying to stop it, stop it. No, don't do that, don't do that. Cynthia, if I was you, I would have walked the hell away. And I absolutely, uh, and I absolutely agree with you for the first time and I don't know how many years you done been on this goddamn show. I absolutely agree with you. Cynthia, don't get your ass in that hoodie because I know your ass can't fight. So, good thing, good, good job, Cynthia. Let your friend get her ass beat down to the white meat. You just sit there and look pretty with your boobs out. Sit up high to the gods and of course they on the bus and they're talking from Kenya play toy to the call sheet and uh, who all invited to the commercial who's not invited commercial Kenya shade off the shade off the fucking shade talking about some no contact list no cast no crew no uh, hair and makeup no this, no that. Is the dick set there? That put. I mean, Kenya. Who, oh, Kenya? You need to get your damn life in fast, girl. You can only do this shit for so long, so I don't want to knock the hell out of you. When will you ever learn? Why are you sitting here shading this woman for this woman? That's the least of your worries. But you sitting up here shading this woman in her commercial, girl. Get over your damn self. So, they finally shooting this low-budget-ass commercial, finally. And they finally shooting this low-budget-ass commercial. And everybody got a scene in the movie, including a uh, scene in this damn shit, including Bob ass. And so, Kenya decides to get the powder bowl on her PayPal, for her PayPal day. And they sitting up there, all out there in the middle of the goddamn ocean, I guess talking, culling, and whatever the fuck they was doing out there in the middle of the damn ocean. But you here to support your friend and all this, but your petty ass out there in the middle, out there in the middle of the damn ocean, while everybody doing the helping out with the commercial, you sitting out there being dumb and ignorant. Kenya, I'm tired of talking about you, ho, for this, this whole episode been talking about you. I'm tired of you already. I ain't discussing you no more, hell, for. So the episode ended with the commercial going to wrap on this little half budget ass commercial as Sheree giving pumping um Kim Fields head up with bullshit. But anyway, though, that's not all I got for y'all today. Like this video, share this video, comment, let me know what you think about tonight's episode. All my social media is down in the bottom bar. And tell a friend, tell a kid, tell the hell you hate, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.